let us do some examples of solving it equation or in equation now this is you're starting with an in equation okay in equation when you're solving an equation you treat them simply as equations uh, the uh, the inequality changes only when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number so let us treat this as a simple linear equation so uh, expanding with 9 so you go 9 times x is 9x plus 9 times 1.6 so let me use my calculator uh, 9.9 times 1.6 is 14.4 okay so that is 14.4 is greater than 7.2 x minus 5. Now, as uh, we do in equation, uh, the same thing we do in, in equation. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate, I'm going to collect the x's on the left hand side and the numbers on the right hand side. So I've got a 7.2 x on the right so I want to eliminate this, so I do the opposite of that. So the opposite of 7.2x is minus 7.2x. So if I take away 7.2x from this side, you have to take away 7.2x from this side. So this is called collecting the x's on one side. So let me draw a line. So this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So now what happens? So this and this gets cancelled. Let me use a different color. Uh, this and this gets cancelled. Okay. So what remains is uh, seven nine x take away seven point two, which is one point eight x. Am I right? Yes, I'm not confident. So nine take away seven point two. I sh uh, 9 take away 7 points. It's always good to check if you have a tool, why not use it? 1.8x is equal to negative, or not equal to, this is greater than, greater than negative 5. So now you can divide this side by, if you divide this side by 1.5, 1.8, you have to also divide this side by 1.8. Now, as you're dividing by a positive number, the inequality would not change. So, let me again use a different color. So, this and this gets 1.8 divided by 1.8 is 1. And uh, I have to use my calculator, which is phi or negative phi or minus phi divided by, oh, minus phi divided by 1.8 is 2.7 whatever okay so let me use without the calculator so this is x is greater than phi minus 50 out of 18 okay and which is nothing but which implies x is greater than minus 25 out of 9 dividing both by so this is your answer as perfect as possible leave the answer as it is so this is the answer or this answer is also fine okay minus 2.2 uh, and uh, so 9 if you want to write this as a fraction so this implies x is greater than minus 2 whole so 9 goes in and you have got uh, 18 and 7 ninths 18 and 7 is 25 so this is your final answer okay let us let us do one more question okay now this is a power question now whenever you have a power as a variable one of my teacher used to tell me hit it with a log okay so let me write the question so this is 8 to the power y is equal to y so 8 so you can also estimate by using logic okay so 8 to the power something or 8 to the power y is 5. So this should be between 
zero, y should be between zero and one. You know, a to the power one is is eight. Okay, so what do, what do I mean? A to the power zero is one, and a to the power one is eight. So using logic, y should be between zero and one. Okay. So as I told you, whenever you have a power as the unknown or the variable. You can do it by hitting with a log. Okay, you don't like powers uh, the variable sitting as a power. So I'm taking log. So you could take log of one side. So log of a to the power y is equal to log of phi. Now applying one of the log rules. If you remember the log rules, one of the log rules is the log. Let me write the log rule. Log n log x you can look in your formula sheet is nothing but log of x to the power n so this is therefore this is y log 8 is equal to log of phi log of phi so now dividing both sides by log 8 if you divide this side by log 8 you, can, you should also divide this side by log 8 so log and log doesn't can cancel, don't cancel the logs. It's not y over 8. So uh, this is y. This log of 8 will be canceled with, log, with this log of 8 is equal to log of phi divided by log of 8. So we need a calculator to work that out. We know it should be between 0 and 1 logically. So you press log phi divided by log 8 which will give you 0 0.77 uh, 7740 or 774 in three significant figures so the answer is 0 0.774 that is 0 0.774 now how does this answer make sense y is equal to 0 0.774 in three significant figures or uh, three decimal places so to make sense what are we saying is a to the power this number should be around this is not an exact number so let me let me show you that so 8 to the power 0 0.774 is 5 point so this is about this is almost 5 so if you had written the whole number, you would get this number. Okay, so let me show you that. So if you go log 5 divided by log 8 is this number. So 8 raised to this number, you can go do like this. Shift answer would give you 5. So that's exactly 5. Okay, so let us look at one more question. Okay, now this is again a question of log. Now, yeah, this, to understand this question, you should know the basic definition of log, okay? The log, the definition of log is like this. Uh, okay, I'll not go into basic definition. Say log of, say, 100 is equal to 2. How do I know that? Because the base of log is 10 here. Yeah because 10 squared or 10 to the power 2 is 100 okay so if you go log of 1000 to the base 10 we don't write this base 10 it's understood so that is 3 why because i'll write again because 10 to the power 3 is 1000 so let me show you that that log of 1 100 is 2 and log of 1000 is 3 okay so if you press log of 100 when you say log of when you type in log of 100 the calculator understands that the base is 10 the answer is 2 and if you press log of 1000 that is 3 so log of 10000 would be what use your logic 10000 so you if log of 10,000, we are asking the question, 10 to which power gives me 10,000? So it should be 4. 
Okay, I hope it's clear. So using that same principle, I can say this becomes, this changes to 2 to the power 20 is equal to P, just like that. P, 2 to the power 20 is P, and that's the answer. So P is, this is a very huge number, 2 to the power 20. So that's done, okay? And finally, this question, okay? So this is 6x squared minus 2x minus 20 is equal to 0. So how will we do it? What is what is that you can see common? Okay. Well, I can see you can divide all by 2. So if you divide, let me make this bigger. Okay. So this is the question. So I'm going to divide all by 2. So if you divide this, up, this term by 2, you can divide this by 2 or you should divide, you're dividing everything by 2. So what happens, you've got 3x squared minus x minus 10 is equal to 0. So you can do by trial and error, but I like to do by splitting of middle terms. So first I do is 3 times, I'm ignoring the x squared, so 3 times negative 10 is negative 30 okay the two factors of negative 30 which adds to give you negative 1 is negative 6 and positive 5 okay so if you add them if you multiply them you get negative 30 and if you add them you get negative 1 so i'm going to write the next step like this 3x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 10 so basically this step is only splitting this minus 1x as 6x plus 5x. You can do this on a calculator, but it should not be dependent. So what is what is common in the first group? So this is the first group and this is the second group. I can see a three common. So you got x minus 2. Am I right? Uh, you got a Oh, sorry, you've got a 3x common. What am I doing? My brain is not working. Okay. So, if you can factor out a 3x, you've got x minus 2. And what is common here? If 5 is common, so you've got x minus 2. And now, you can, you can factor out this x plus 2. So, this is x minus 2 times 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so now if you set both of them equal to 0, so x minus 2 is 0, and 3x plus 5 is 0. So x is 2, and x is, or 3x is, I'll do more steps, minus 5, so x is minus 5 over 3. So doubling both of them is minus, oh, minus 5 over 3, I can't double, I can't simplify. So this is the answer. So this is my final answer. X is 2 or X is minus 5 over 3, which is uh, minus 1.66. So how do you check this on a calculator? So this is the question. So get your calculator out. And you can go to menu, go to equation. Where is my equation? Here is my equation. And you go to polynomial and second degree. So your A, under A, you type in 6. Under B, you type in minus 2 or negative 2. And under C, you type in minus 20. Just like that. And then you go to solve. So first answer is 2. So let me scroll up. Oh, sorry. Your first answer is 2. And the other answer is minus 1.66. That's these are the two for minus 5 over 3. Okay, I've got the answer in the fraction for minus 5 over 3. Hopefully, these videos have been helpful. See you in the next video.